I am Miss Lucinda Philly. I'm living at Challengers Village, but um, I have my business here at Bloody Point Stone Fort. And uh, I do craft vending. Bloody Point is very special to me. When I was a little girl, I always hear them saying that the Carib and the Araraks, they had fights up the river. And uh, I felt it because um, when I think of what happened, like it got to me, it hurts. But I think that is a historic place here. And uh, I think that it's very important because uh, if those ascendants from all these years shed blood, and uh, this is something for us to remember, we should respect it, but really and truly, I see the respect. I see like people don't care, and uh, lots of people do a lot of um, like throw things on the ground and keep it really nasty. And uh, all these lot of bushes, and I would like to see it clean up nicely and make something special of Bloody Point because mm, this is something we can get rich from in our island because uh, when tourism, like when tourists comes, they can stay here and look at the beautiful Bloody Point and uh, they can take pictures and see the cleanliness of our island and this, this historic place can bring in a lot of tourists in our country. So we need to really look at it seriously because it's something very important to me. I feel connected because I sometimes I myself see and feel the spirit of the people that massacred. And sometimes I even see shadows, like people passing. And I say, who is that? And when you look, no one. I keep looking and running to see who is passing, and I see no one. And sometimes I'll be right here, quietly, and then all of a sudden, I just feel funny. I said, oh, someone is here with me. They are my friends. <laughs> I think they love me too. <laughs> I would like to see it get a good clean-up and uh, decorate with some nice flowers and put up a nice sign or something like a wall stone or so, like to put it there so that people can see something like to read or a sign with something that some like the tourists can see and other people can see to read and uh, um, you could make money here too, like, like further up the river, they can, well, is a place where the, um, the cave is. They can get up there, clean up nicely, and put a gate right there by the, the, the beginning of the, the walk to go down to the river. And then tourists will be able to come up there, and then they pay a little fees and they go down by the river and go up to the cave and see where the fight was. And the government can make some money there to help the country because lots of young people staying out of school now and they ain't have a job. And that money can help put in to get young people to have jobs. So in the future, I might be an old lady them time, but I would like to see that happen. I always think of it. Like the tourists them come up and pay even a five dollars, that is good. And they go down there and they go up to the cave and the drawings and see what the Arabs and Caribs have done, you know. And they will be able to make some money from it to help the government and the people of this community and also in our country. Mm -hmm. I used to be really impressed when I hear that. 
in school, I always hear about Christopher Columbus. And it impressed me a lot because, I mean, since he's the first person came into the Caribbean island and discovered, that is something really nice. So I feel good about it. I always remember, I thought that in school, that Christopher, Lum Christopher Columbus was here discovering the whole of the Caribbean island. And I always think of that. That is a good history. And, but I never met him, you know, but I heard, I read, and it was good. I always have good feelings. And I believe, I believe he discovered, yeah. But some people may, may not believe, but I believe because mm, I, fe I felt good. I feel good. And because of that, because that's why I'm here too, because he was here, isn't it? <laughs>